there's at least you know, three demolishers and a few raiders. That base is just not going to last very long if he's not there to defend it. So intelligently, um, he creeps what he can very quickly. He should be uprooting his tree right now. Um, so that it doesn't take as much damage from the devil and the raiders. And he doesn't do it, which is going to cost him the tree. <coughs> but check wisely attacks. Uh, what Chek did is he crept the item dropping creep of the laboratory camp, and his reward for that was the Book of the Dead, uh, which given that um, Eric only has walkers now, this is only his first walker coming out right now, um, is obviously a very useful item for Chek. Um, unfortunately, Eric's expansion has gone up, and if you're actually looking at the uh, the replay time, it looks, I think the replay's broken, or maybe it's just my, my replay, but it, it says that it's less than halfway finished right now. Uh, it's not. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, the game is going to end soon, isn't it? <laughs> I was really nervous, and I thought Shaq was going to pull some crazy comeback when I first watched this. Uh, obviously, taking out the Burrows, the next smartest thing um, Check could do, because he knows Eric has an expansion. If you have an expansion and no Burrows, uh, then the gold is pretty much useless to you, since you can't get the army that you want. Uh, Eric says, hey, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I already have a 60 food army, I'm just going to take out your expansion. Which again, check just could not have played. You can't win that game at that point. The base race game versus um, first work. He should have been there to defend his expansion the second time. Um, and I'm not saying he would have won the fight in either circumstance, but it was his best chance at winning the game. And in fact, at this point, I really don't understand why um, Eric doesn't just turn and fight. <clears throat> Especially since half his army is still trailing behind him. But anyways. There you go. It's 3-3 three, three versus 2-2. Two, two. The army size is heavily in Eric's favor, 60 versus 30 food. And you can really just right-click heroes. Um, <laughs> I said that, uh, and then it really was a pretty costly move on his part, but the, the archers just don't stand up um, to attack ground from the demos to the blade master and to uh, the Honda. <coughs> Check says, good game, I hope that's a pretty weak surround on the, on the Dane Hunter. But anyway, the Raiders don't do any damage to him, as you can see. But anyway, Steven Hunter falls, and Check says, good game, we go, I guess, which is the next best thing to get you. <clears throat> so that's game one. Um, pretty interesting strategy. Again, I want to stress that I think, uh, I, I'm 99% certain that Eric did not go into that game thinking, I'm going to tier 2 tower rush with the Naga. Um, but he definitely had the idea to harass first and hope to delay the ancients of, um, sorry, the, maybe cancel some, some wind wells and delay the, the uh, ancients of wind. Uh, and he did a very successful job of doing that, such to the point that he just said, hell, I'll just tower rush. Um, and that was a very, very good move on his part. And in fact, I think that game would have been over ten minutes earlier if he hadn't, uh, stupidly lost his blade master. Careless little mistakes like that. So let's get game two up. Um... Game 2 is, I think it's game 2 in the series, um, and it's on Twisted Meadows. And again, Eric does a different strategy, we'll say. So we're going to pause it at um, the minute, minute 30 second mark, we'll say. I'm just getting that uploaded myself. Um, while you guys upload this, I've got a challenge for the community. Um, I have a new computer, I'm not, I'm not very tech savvy. New computer, Windows Vista, and in Vista, when I installed Warcraft, I can no longer double-click replays from the desktop and have them open up the replay file. Instead, it just opens up Warcraft. And I've seen a few threads like um, answering that question on WCR, and none of them have been able to help me. Um, they all, some of them, are, you know, change something in their registry, or you can just download this, which will change the registry for you. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, none of them work. Uh, and I've changed the executable path. I've changed the uh, open with properties on the replay files. It's still not working. So. If anyone wants a big shout out from me in my next audio, um, by all means, reply with a, a solution to that little problem in this audio thread, and I will be very grateful. So, enough talk. Game two, one minute, 30 second mark, 1x speed, fog of war off on Eric's point of view. Let's unpause in three, two, one, unpause. Okay, last game I spoke about <laughs> part of the power of the strategy that Eric used was that it was so difficult to spot. At this point in the game, the Wisp is just coming into Eric's space. He sees no barracks. I, I think he's, yeah, he's going to see that war mill, and he sees the voodoo lounge. Um, so right away, um, Czech knows that 
Eric's doing something strange. Um, and he builds Hunter's Hall. I don't understand why he went with the Hunt build um, when he saw that. I, don't, I mean, hey, his call. He's check. I'm not. Um, but I, I always, I personally believe archers are better versus um, these fast tech type strategies. And the one mode does definitely indicate fast tech. So you see the first thing check does, other than getting uh, his circlet in the dust. And the great thing about being a demon, you don't even need one walk because you take so little damage. <laughs> um, he heads straight to Eric's base, and he knows the, the thing about these fast tech strategies. Um, they usually involve delaying the racks and second burrow. So he's going to come into it, uh, Eric's base when he only has a burrow. They can, you know, have one burrow for at least 11, maybe 12, 13, 13 peons. <laughs> So obviously um, he's going to be able to do some serious damage to his economy, um, just by even just by forcing several of those peons into the burrow. Uh, they're not mining lumber, and this is actually this goes very well for for check. Uh, I think, and I think Eric made a mistake in, in creeping first instead of going straight to um, straight to the demon hunter and defending his base because he would have been able to mine a lot more lumber this way. And these strategies are very dependent on how much lumber you get, obviously, um, because you're skipping tier one and up grunts to defend you. And I mentioned earlier that um, orc towers are terrible defensively, but here you're going to see a game where they're used defensively. Uh, and I think personally, check could have been a lot of things differently to win this game. Um, he doesn't win the game, but whatever. I'll point that out as the game goes on. But anyways. <coughs> He's, um, he doesn't have very much lumber, that is Eric, because of that demon or her ass. And he is forced to build two towers now. I'm sure he's going to build them anyway, but because he only has one burrow up especially, he needs towers to defend himself. And looking back um, at Check's base, he's got one archer, uh, and he's attacking. So, I mean, I guess the Hunter's Hall was just for APs, not tier 2, perhaps. Um, because he's not too worried about bats. Um, who knows? <laughs> very possible. This opening, by the way, um, I mentioned bats. This is probably what elves fear most when they see um, this opening. I'm not an elf player, but you know, there are enough tower craft replays in WCR, in WCR that if you see this on ladder, you're, you're going to assume the person you're up against is, is hacking, <laughs> first of all, and second of all, is going to build um, mass bats on you, which is actually a, a pretty good strategy for self. Um, I think it's a terrible strategy for every other race, but Herself, it's a, a pretty strong strategy um, because once those towers go up, it's so difficult for Elf with so many uh, unarmored units to take them out. Um, at least if you have fortified towers, which is part of what this strategy is going to revolve around. I digress. Um, so, anyways, checks checks. Um, you see, he's about 80% to tier two, whereas Eric has already reached tier two and is training uh, two beast series. He only has 30 food worth of burrows, sort of two burrows really in his main hall, <coughs> which is not unusual, let's say, because they're fairly useless until you're actually going to build an army. Um, but it does show you that he's probably going to be going tier 3 before he gets a substantial army. Um, and then another strange thing that Eric does, which obviously Chuck can't see, but we can, is that he builds, or sorry, yeah, what Eric does, is he builds a Shadow Hunter. Um, and usually, with these fast tech strategies, because you're not going to have too many units to creep with, uh, you choose not to build a second hero, um, which is fair. Uh, if you're, you know, towercraft and and you don't have any micro whatsoever, you probably choose not to build the second hero because you know it's just too much to micro. Um, but it's also a wise decision not to build the second hero because it's going to split up the experience between the blade master um, and the shadow hunter and there's not going to be very much experience to go around. And one of the ideal situations in this strategy is the Blade Master hits 6, you buy an Invul Pot and a Mana Pot, and the next time there's a fight outside of one of your bases that's towered to hell, um, you Blade Storm and take out his entire ranged army in a couple seconds. And obviously that involves getting your Blade to level 6 as fast as possible. So anyways, Raiders coming out first. Um, not a bad idea, actually. I was really surprised to see Raiders instead of Wyverns or Bats first. But um, the more I think about it, actually a pretty smart decision. Um, just because you know that your tech's faster than theirs, you can actually successfully um, harass their base a little bit, um, pillage some, some resources off of them, whatever. Um, what the Blade, the Blade Master is doing now is he's scouting for an expansion. Uh, Eric doesn't have a map hack, so he doesn't know 